Hey guys, this is Jenna with Hill Valley Farm and today I wanted to introduce you to some of the newest herd members of Hill Valley Farm that have been born lately. Let's get started. Introducing Alice here and one of her little does right there. That one is blue eyed with moon spots. You can barely see the moon spots on her. And then this is her other two. So she had triplets. That is her little buckling right there that's Swiss. He's black and tan Swiss with blue eyes and he is actually covered in moon spots. Uh, it, they're coming out. They're, he's black but they're dark brown and so as everyone knows if you know anything about moon spots they lighten as they get older uh, so he is really stunning and then this little girl covered in hay <laughs> she just woke up from her nap she is solid black and she's got brown eyes just like her grandmother lily so she is the spitting image of our lily so um all are healthy and doing really really good i actually just let alice out of the kidding pen it's very very wet we had horrid storms last night and rain and so you know i don't love the wetness but i do want them to get out i mean as you can see they have a nice big field to graze in and to explore. So let me see if I can see. You can see her moon. There's like one, a little bitty one on the right side there. Um, but they are all healthy. So Alice was due Monday, May 6th. She ended up kidding on Saturday, May 4th. And it was during the day, thankfully. Um, I knew that her ligaments had been soft for quite a few days and I was just keeping an eye on her and we decided to do the final clean out the last stall which of course was the worst to clean out uh, you know you save the worst for last and then um, we did a hall clean out of the barn as well and so we were in the middle of that when <laughs> she started pushing and <laughs> So I had to drop everything and uh, Caden and I, you know, were there with Alice while Craig continued to clean out and, you know, dig out the middle stall. And every now and then Caden would jump back on the tractor to take the tractor. And we, we have a, an enormous pile down there. That is everything we've cleaned out this spring of the barn. So um, that's what we call the burn pile. So... The burn pile is going to need to be burned. <laughs> so that is next. We think that the burn restriction is lifted up the middle of the month. So we will be burning the burn pile finally. Uh, but Alice is doing, oh my goodness, so good. I was so excited about her this year anyways. Uh, because she is a very promising three-year-old. And um, second time freshening. And I really, really love her utter... I love the height. I mean, just like any other rocket daughter, I just, I love this doe. So, um, she's very, very exciting to me. And having triplets means that she is really pumping out the milk. And let's see. And then there was one. Where did your sisters go? <laughs> They're probably over here on the ramp. And they are. Yeah. Little black beauties. But the buckling, let's see. The buckling was first, and then the blue eyed doe with the moon spots, and then the little solid black doe with brown eyes was next. And so they are just very, very stunning and so cute. And uh, friendly, and golly, they're so healthy. I did check their teeth just to make sure, like, okay, I mean, this was, what was it, day 142, 143. And they had teeth, you know, they had teeth. So, oh, here he is. 
And so anyways, um, they are just doing excellent. We opened this up into the milk room and they love to run up and down the ramp and um, in the hall of the, the milk room. So uh, while we milk, so they, they are really getting to explore their digs and I don't know if you can barely see it, but they're, the moon spots are all over him. I mean, he's gonna really be cool looking. Um, I just love him. And so, um, names, we have named them, uh, because they were born on May the 4th. And, you know, the big saying goes, may the 4th be with you. And so, we kind of wanted to do something, um, and our oldest really likes Star Wars stuff. So, <laughs> he actually came up with the Bucks name, um, Hill Valley Yoda Bomb. <laughs> so, so, we call him Yoda. But I thought that was a really fun spin. And the two girls, um, I'm going to have to take a rain check on that because I can't really say their names and I'm not used to it yet. But we have named them. So they will be registered via ADGA. And the, the little buckling is available as a buck, of course. And the little does are both available I would love to keep the solid black one, but this wasn't a particular breeding I was going to keep from. Probably going to regret that someday, but you know, you can't keep them all. And we're trying to keep our numbers down. Um, you know, hay is really hard to come by right now. And we're just, you know, trying to be smart with our numbers and what we have and be picky, you know, with what we keep. And so, but... I will tell you, they are long, they are dairy, um, they're unfolding beautifully, and so if you're wanting to add something to your herd with a little bit of flair and a whole lot of confirmation and correctness, I believe this would be a really good uh, thing to get your hands on. Um, so anyway, so all of them are available, and that is Alice. Now, the second one to kid, and she did this on Monday afternoon, was Butterfinger. Hill Valley Butterfinger had two strapping bucklings. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are so cute. And um, the black one, he has moon spots. And then we've got this beautiful buck skin with a white pole and frosted ears, and he's just so cute. Yes, you guys are. This is Butterfinger. She did really, really good. Um, it was so fast, and kind of so fast it was scary. But, um, and she did have some swelling afterwards, just because, you know, when you've never done this, and it happens so fast you don't have a lot of time to stretch and she just didn't and so um there are two big boys but you know this is why we breed for better rumps because when you do that you have the scenario that we had which was she had these guys on her own you know we did not have to intervene yes we were present but we did not have to intervene and so, um, it was <laughs> eventful. It was not really super expected that day. Um, she had her ligaments, um, in the, that morning. And so I was a little surprised she went so fast, but she did. And honestly, if they're going to do that, that's just the best way. I mean, other than the fact, you know, that she didn't have time to stretch and she did swell, afterwards but i'm telling you um we keep them clean uh in the on the area and then i have found preparation h helps a lot and it brings down the swelling of course we gave her an anti-inflammatory that is you know some for animals and um we did that the first night and then we didn't because she was acting like she was hurting or in pain and of course i mean it, it would be and um so she's been doing great these guys are growing gaining weight you know that's something else that we look at when we're looking at 
um, the kids and watching them were very, very careful about their weights and watching those. So, um, she did really well. She has got a beautiful udder and of course she's a first freshener. She's a yearling first freshener. So Kaden is super happy to have that going on so he can show her in the shows this year because, you know, we don't always have a yearling, uh, milker and now he has one. So that is sweet Butterfinger. So here's Miss Dicey. She's not really looking like she's in any hurry whatsoever. Um, she does have a nice little first freshener udder coming in right there. Look at that. Looking good. She lost her ligaments. <clears throat> I checked her. Well, I checked her before we um, went in from chores last night. And... Um, she had a little bit of ligaments, but they were super, super soft. And that was probably around nine o'clock, nine fifteen, And then around midnight, I checked her again and she did not have ligaments at all. So, um, so she has been in here and, um, I thought she might not like to be by herself, but she doesn't seem to mind it. And that's kind of what she was doing uh, the day before she um, really started softening up those ligaments. She started kind of separating from a, the hard bit, particularly Risky. She's always with Risky. Watch her yawn. Um, she's always with Risky, but she started kind of separating and going off by herself um, in a corner. So I knew something was happening. So anyway, so... We're just hanging out. I've been watching her on our monitor, uh, but I wanted to come down here and kind of sit with her and see what she's doing, but really not much of anything. She did lay down for a little while. She has herself a little nest right there, uh, but that's about it. She's contracting right now. You can see that tail up and super straight leg. Of course, my leg is in her way, but, <laughs> but yeah, so she's having some good contractions, but not enough to make her start pushing just yet. So we'll keep hanging out. So you saw when Dicey was in labor, Dicey was in labor, um, from midnight that night and before until about 7 30 um 7 15 she started pushing and um, she pushed out a well she didn't she did have to have some help from kaden she pushed out a single buckling which is probably well he's beautiful <laughs> and she is in love with him Yes, I know you are. Yes. Um, but you know, in the goat world, we don't like singles because they're big. And especially for a first freshener to have to kid a single buckling, you know, it, it's kind of like worst case scenario type stuff. Um, Especially if they get malpositioned. Luckily, he was positioned perfectly. Yes, yes, you were. Yeah. Everyone, everyone wants to see you. Oh, yes. He's just so cute. And you can see his markings. He looks very similar to Betty and Golden. <laughs> yes. But he's beautiful. And, um, so anyways... I, you, you guys know that we have a senior this year and <laughs> I really did not plan this badly. Um, it just happened because some goats decided to short cycle back when we were breeding them. But this week is possibly the busiest week of our lives because of, you know, everything going on with our senior you know, you've got senior awards night and you've got, um, graduation and you've got, um, you know, a lot of lasts. And so things that you don't want to miss, like 
you wouldn't miss anyways, but you really aren't going to miss because, you know, they're the last. And so, you know, I spent the last couple of months watching him play his last baseball games. And then now we're done with baseball and we're in the last week of school where he's got, you know, like I said, the senior awards nights, you know, just things that go on, uh, walking the halls of the elementary school and middle school that he attended and, and of course, graduation. So, <laughs> um, Scott was due on the day of senior night awards and of course, Dicey was way overdue. Dicey was due May 2nd, and she had this guy on day 150 on May 7th. And so, I left knowing she was in labor, um, but I also left her in exceptionally good hands, which was Caden. And um, he, fortunately, has seen enough uh, births to know when, when one needs help or assistance and so she was pushing uh, with no progression and then all of a sudden total progress and he said he was coming out head first with two feet and so he just decided it was time to help Dicey out because she was pushing and he wasn't really moving too much um, at, because it was a single buck you know a big single buckling and so he did assist and he helped pull the single buckling out and he was totally fine and healthy um when i got to the barn because of course um he pulled him like she was having him right when we were coming home from the senior <laughs> night awards i came in and he was getting cleaned up and dicey was literally still laying there like oh my goodness what just happened and um so anyways, we got the him, well, sorry, they, we got him to nurse and, um, she kind of figured out cause again, she's a first freshener. She's not <laughs> used to dealing with babies. She doesn't know what to do. You know, she's never cleaned a kid off. And so we got her to doing that and she just did an amazing job on him and, <laughs> He is just absolutely precious. Beautiful, beautiful blue-eyed boy. Now, his sire is Cedar View Excalibur. The same sire that sired Alice's kids and Butterfinger's kids. But you'll notice both of those does are dark. And Dicey is not dark. Hi, baby. She's still my baby, aren't ya? Yes. And I'm holding your baby. <laughs> So, anyways, um, Dicey. <laughs> um, so, that's where the lighter color comes in. Oh, come on, get out. And um, so, that's why he is what he is. So, he is just, I don't know, a strapping young lad. <laughs> and a very proud mama. Yes. And she, you know, she, um, this whole time had a very small udder. Um, it's very correct and it's, oh, it's beautiful, but it's just so small. And this whole time, you know, the others were filling, 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 and she wasn't feeling as much. And I kind of had a sinking thought, oh, what if it's a single? And it was, but that's okay. Um, you know, I, I give our first fresheners lots of grace. I have learned that um, you just need to have some patience with them. And she's, you know, she's doing fine. She's actually doing great on the stand. I can get her up there. I can milk her. I don't have to, you know, tie her leg or anything like that. She stands there like a sweet little thing, like she always is. Um, but, you know, she's just got some healing to do. She did swell, too, a little bit. Um, but again, you know, we breed for better rumps so that in a situation that like that, where they come so fast and they're two bucklings and then this big single, you know, you don't have a problem like you could have. So, um, 
that was on Tuesday evening. And um, we ended up within less than 24 hours having three does kid within the 24 hour span. And Dicey was the first one of that. And um, meanwhile, before I left for the awards night, I noticed that Sky had um, really loosened up those ligaments and was losing them pretty quickly. So I put her in the pen that Butterfinger is in right now so that Kaden could keep an eye on her because she's known for going really fast too. And so we just had her and we're watching her while we were dealing with Dicey. We did chores, everything was fine. Um, <clears throat> but by the time we were done with chores, uh, Sky's ligaments were gone. And so next will be Sky. So here are Sky's lovies. The first one up front is the doling. And the second one is a buckling. And the third one is a buckling. Uh, and that's about the order they came in. <laughs> um, they are super healthy and uh, doing great. I don't know if you can see the width on her. Well, she's got her leg up now. Anyways, she has really great width between those hawks. Yes, you do. And um, so anyways, they're really doing great. Um, Sky is doing fabulous, as always. Um, here, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, hi, Alice. <laughs> hi, Alice. She's the nosy neighbor. So, um, Skye, um, as I said, lost her ligaments. Um, it was around chore time when we were uh, wrapping up. I checked her, and I thought, well, knowing her history, because Skye here has been known to go out in, um, like, the open, like, field or like hallway and start pushing kids out <laughs> and her mother her dam does the same thing uh, uh that's how sky was born actually she was born in the middle of everyone so <laughs> you, you should never ever ever underestimate the quick the quickness of sky and her dam so <laughs> I knew I better get things in order. Uh, so, because Dicey had had her kid, you know, we have to cut their umbilical cords and wash towels and, get, you know, just get everything re-disinfected. So, I did all that and was totally ready. Um, and I was, I had cleaned all the milk inflations, gotten everything together and... <laughs> Her water broke, and she let the whole world know. And so, um, Kaden had actually already went to bed, and so I was going to show you her. So, anyways, um, I had to get him up, and we went out there, and an hour later, she started pushing, like, for real pushing. Like, she did little pushes, but not, not real big, you know. So, um, anyways, she did, like I said, super good. I mean, just excellent. It was just a late night. Uh, and I mean a very late night. Um, but all is well. Her kids are super healthy. And while she was due on the 7th, technically she had them on the 8th because it was like 1, 1, 1 in the morning on uh, May 8th. And so, people want to see your babies. And so, um, but she's doing really good. I've been milking her out the rest of the way. She, of course, has extra, as she should. Uh, she is a 3F this year. And she's a 4-year-old, 3F. So, um, so she's got an udder and milk for days. They are growing already. And, um, as of now, the, the black buckling is still available. 
and um, the doe wing, we're not sure. We're kind of waiting to see, because in all honesty, um, you know, I was talking earlier, you know, hay has been hard to come by. Uh, feed is, you know, increased in cost. <laughs> and um, <laughs> between these freshenings, you know, I only have three does. And um, so anyways, it kind of hurts when you only get three does out of one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So it's half, you know. But um, it's, it is significant. Um, I mean, it's great to have twin bucks because that'll help the milk and, you know, the milk production because everybody knows bucks really drink, drink, drink. But uh, at the end of the day, when it comes to sales, it's just easier to sell a doe. And so, um, so she looks really, really good, but we're kind of waiting to see what Phelan can do because, you know, I also do need some ex-daughters and, um, this is one that I really wanted to keep, but I have so many people on reservation for Skye. It's really hard to fill. So her, her list for bucklings is open but her list for dolings are is closed because i just have so many um but so anyways we do not know yet if we are retaining her um again trying to keep numbers manageable but at the same time you know it would be a smart move to keep her if we can um but we also know that we need to buy hay and when i say we buy hay in May, we typically buy hay for like until that'll last us until fall. And uh, lately, I've been having since February, I've been having to buy hay um, monthly, sometimes bi weekly. Um, it's just they've been going through it. It's been a really, really rainy year. And when it's a rainy day, goats I don't know if you all know this goats think that they are going to melt. And they do not like rain at all. <laughs> Even now, it's as sunny and beautiful as it is outside. I don't know. I know you guys can't really see, but through the slats you can. Alice is in here, even though she could go outside. And the rest of the herd on the other side of the barn is still in the barn. Because um, it rained last night really bad. So, they just don't, they don't like the wet. They don't like the rain. They, they, they're just not fans. So, when it's a day like today, guess what they're doing? They're eating hay. And it's a lot of it. So, um, so anyways, we're just being very mindful. Um, being very careful. And, but, I will say, every one of these guys, they have blue eyes. Um, none of them are polled. Um, because neither of the parents are polled. <laughs> And, uh, like I said, this little girl is just so pretty. She's really nice and wide between those hawks um, on her back end. She's wide on her front end. I mean, she looks really good. Now, I have contacted the first person on the list for her. And they totally understand that we're kind of hanging on to her for now. Um, but they will have the first right of refusal if we decide to let her go. So... And he is just beautiful. Yes, you are so beautiful. <laughs> My goodness. But yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it. It was a, te like I said, textbook delivery. Um, they, uh, she, they all had perfect presentation. Um, nose, two hooves, um, uh, two front hooves. And, um, it just, it went really, really well. We're super proud of our sky. So we have Dicey who freshened on the evening of the 7th. And then that night, but in the early morning hours of the 8th, sky freshened. So Dicey had a single, sky had triplets. And then we're on our third doe, who kitted out on the 8th, which was yesterday, in the afternoon. And <laughs> he, 
here she is. Sheila. <laughs> Sheila's due date was May 8th, and um, I checked her ligaments, um, and I had to go somewhere. I actually had to go get Kaden from school, and I checked her ligaments before I left, and she had them. Um, now, they, they were super loose, and honestly, I almost moved her over, thought about it, but I remember last year, she had a longer labor, and I thought, well, I think she'll be fine. <laughs> well, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Let me see if I can get her moved so that you guys can see. Okay, so the one over there against the wall was um, actually running around when I came out to the barn. I came out to the barn as soon as I got Kaden home from school just to clean Sky up. And my idea was uh, <laughs> clean Sky up, milk her the rest of the way out, and go in and take a nap because I was barely functioning um, on three hours of sleep. <laughs> and I came out and I thought I heard something that sounded very much like a, a goat pushing. And sure enough, in the front stall was Sheila laying there with Valor, of all things, running around that little doe laying down right there. And she was wet and trying to nurse and Sheila's trying to push out this little girl. So, Sheila had twin does. They are absolutely beautiful and stunning and all of that. Um, you can see, okay, so you see this one right here has white on its side. But that on its rear, that is a moon spot. It's a funky color. It's not white. Um, and it matches her moon spot. Because obviously she's got white, but then above that is a moon spot. Um, and when she shaved the moon spot, um, the circular part of it is much more defined. But anyways, so that little girl. Here, let's move because everybody wants to see the babies. I mean, we want to see you, but they really want to see your babies. Um, so this little girl was coming out head only first. And, you know, in all honesty, that is just not the best um, position at all, ever. Yeah, I'm trying to get her moved. Okay. Um, it's just not the best position um, because then uh, you, you really have nothing to grab onto other than a head. And, and you know, it's not great. <laughs> but um, she was trying to push her out and she was doing fine. But I did not know how long she had been doing this, and therefore, I just went ahead and helped her. Um, you know, I, I don't normally jump right in and do all that unless I really feel like there's a problem. And I don't feel like there was a problem. They are just wanting to hide behind her really bad. Um, I didn't, I mean, there wasn't a problem. It was just, um, I didn't know. Like, how long this had been going on. And you could see, well, I mean, it could have been super long. But, I mean, I had been gone a good 45 minutes to an hour at least. So, when you're looking at that you, and you just don't know. Um, and you see that coming out. And, you know, I just, I just, I just pulled her. And um, then she was done. So, she had twin does. Now, um, we had some people on reservation, of course, for a buckling out of her. <laughs> um, but I'm honestly glad that she had those because, um, you know, <laughs> these are sired by Primrose Hill M. Archimedes Starby. And these, um, because we have sold Archimedes and he has gone to his new home, um, these are actually his last daughters here at Hill Valley Farm. Um, and so, we um, are definitely retaining one of them. Um, I am actually leaving that decision up to Caden. That is his decision because Sheila is his doe. 
And so he gets to pick which one he keeps. I know which one I would keep, but I'm not going to say. I'm going to let him do it because, again, it's his decision. So that is <laughs> Sneaky Sneaky Sheila. So who is next to Kid? Uh, that would be, and we are waiting on her because she's overdue, Cade's Little Farm, um, S.E. Faylene. Faylene was due on May 8th, just like Sheila, and she still has her ligaments as of today and shows no signs of going into labor anytime soon. This is day... 147, which is honestly, on average, the most common day that our goats go on. It's Mirabella. But anyways, so that's who we're waiting on right now. And like I said, she really, she's, thank you, pulling my hair. Uh, she's out there grazing. She's showing no signs whatsoever. She's at the tree stump right there. So, um, but, She's doing a back rub. So that's the one we're waiting on. Um, after that, it'll be risky. It's due May 26th. And then Moon and Callie are both due the very beginning of June. And that will be it until August, which uh, hopefully Lila Grace has settled. Um, I don't know that for sure yet, but I'm hoping that she has. So, here. I mowed. And... When we say mow, I mean, I only mow like the tops because you're supposed to leave at least five inches. Um, you don't want to mow any more than that because that's, parasites don't typically go up. That's failing right there as um, high, higher than five inches. And so I literally just mowed the tops so that they could go and see through the grass instead of like, I can't even see them when they're out in the field. So I'm glad I did that because now they're grazing and not eating hay. <laughs> so, so anyways, um, but yeah, so risky end of this month and then June, uh, June 1st, 1st and 3rd, Moon and Callie. And then, like I said, hopefully Lila Grace. Um, she's looking like she's bred, but it's too soon to tell. I could schedule an ultrasound and if that means I gotta go and take her to the vet and pay a bill and all that so I'll just wait and see because I mean if she's not bred it's not like I'm going to change you know change anything so that's kind of what you got to think about sometimes too it's like well what am I going to do with that information if she's not bred do I not worry about it or do I do something about it and I just I wouldn't right now because I wouldn't want her to kid any later at this point so thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching if you watch this whole thing wow thank you <laughs> uh but if you uh want to go ahead and subscribe and we always appreciate everyone hitting the thumbs up it helps us more than you know until next time i hope you have an awesome goat field day I want to go to Dicey's water while she's going. Out. What's he doing? <laughs> huh? What's he doing? Hi.